Welcome to Solutions Studio. This is a free series on C programming language. If you like these videos, please subscribe to follow along with this series. Also, please like and leave a comment and share the video to help spread this series. Hello and welcome. In this episode, we want to discuss about control structures. Statements in a program usually run one after another in the order that you write them, and you have seen that we have done so in the previous episodes. Any program that we have written, they have been executed line after line, one line after another. As you will soon see that there are different C statements that we can say that the next statement that should run should be something else rather than the next line. And this we call it transfer of control. These two researchers' work demonstrated that all programs could be written in terms of three control structures, namely the sequence structure, which we have been programming in the previous episodes, the selection structure and the iteration structure. The sequence structure is simple. Unless directed otherwise, the computer executes C statements one after another in the order which they are written. But the selection structures and the iteration structures we will be discussing and we will be creating program in these two structures in the coming episodes. So stay tuned and I will see you in the next episodes. Flowcharts. So a flowchart is a diagram that shows how an algorithm or part of a program works. Flowcharts are made by connecting shapes like rectangles, diamonds, rounded rectangles and small circles with arrows called flow lines. So flowcharts can be used to create and show algorithms, but most coders prefer pseudocode. Flowcharts show how controller structures work in a very clear way. Take a look at the following diagram to see how part of an algorithm that figures out the class average on a quiz works. The rectangle also called the action sign, shows any action like a calculation, input or output. The flow lines show the order in which the activities should be done. First, this part of the program adds the grade to the total and then it adds one to the counter. When making a flowchart for a full algorithm, the first symbol is a rounded rectangle that says begin and the last symbol is a rounded rectangle that says end. When we only want to show a small part of a program, we leave out the rounded rectangle symbols and use small circles instead. These are called connector symbols. Stay tuned and in the coming episodes, we will create full programs using flowcharts. That's it for this episode. See Hello and welcome. In this episode, we are discussing selection statements in C. C provides three types of selection structures in the form of statements. The first one is the F single selection statement, which selects or performs an action or a group of actions only if a condition is true. The if else double selection statement performs one action or a group of actions if a condition is true and a different type of action or a group of actions if the condition is false. And the switch multiple selection statement performs one of the many different actions depending on the value of an expression. So that's it, we have these three type of selection statements in C. Stay tuned as we are going into more details and creating more programs with these selection statements and C programming language. Hello and welcome to this episode. In the last episode we discussed about selection statements in C. In this episode we want to talk about iteration statements in C. So C provides three types of iteration structures. The first one is while iteration structure, do while iteration structure, and the last one is the for iteration structure. In the coming videos, you will see that these statements perform tasks repeatedly, and we will cover all of these three type of iteration structures one by one and in more details. That's it for this episode. See you in the coming. So as we've seen in the previous episodes, C only has seven control statements. 
there's the sequential execution and there is three types of selection statements and three types of iteration statements. Basically, you can make any program that you would like by putting together as many of each kind of these control statements. So every C program we will ever need to make can be made from just seven control statements that can be put together. And that's it. That's the essence of simplicity in programming. Stay tuned with me as I go through each one of the three types of selection statements and the type of iteration statements one by one in much more detail and depth and with many examples. That's it for this episode. See you in the next